Hey guys, welcome to part A of Last Face Barnum and Weber Shadows on the 360. In the last part we took out the Vulture, so now we have to go to Kingpin's staging area, so let's check it out. Hide and seek, apparently. This mission's a little bit strange. Um, this beginning part, I don't quite know what Spider-Man's plan was, it was just... I hear Kim Ping's stuff is going on, or there's some henchmen I can beat up, so we're here now, which is cool. But then it, it takes a turn, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But for the first part of this mission, all we got to do is beat up these bad guys. And I'm really not timing this well. There we go, that's what I was going for. Yeah, we have this weird sidewards battle where we got to fight all these guys on the side of this building. I don't quite get it. <laughs> Um, eventually we're going to have to climb to the top of this building, but for this first part we just have to fight them here. And there's um, an infinite amount of them, well there's technically not, but there's a load of them, so you just got to keep fighting them until the game's like, oh you've defeated 12, you can progress, you have proven yourself to be as good as Spider-Man. So now you can do it. Um, so also, I want to like apologise for how bad I did at the boss in the last part. Uh, against the Vulture, I replayed that boss afterwards. And I realised that I really did not do very good at it. That boss is not hard, but for some reason when I was playing it the other day and in the last part, I just kind of sucked at it. And I don't know why, I guess I was just having an off day. But yeah, that boss is not hard. All you've got to do is web strike and press X, like you use the X web strike, and then you just got to kick him a few times and repeat. Like, I managed to do most of that boss without being hit when I replayed it, so I really don't know what I was thinking. It just kind of took longer than it should, so... So yeah, so you don't have to worry about that boss. It's not as irritating as I made it look out to be. And these enemies aren't too hard. Like, because we're on the side of the buildings, the best thing to do is to just web strike and kick. Like, with all these flying enemies, it, they're the same kind of deal. Like, even with Vulture, when there's, like, people in the air, you can't use any of your ground combos, so you just gotta keep web striking. There's, like not that much more to it than that, really. Right, boom! Getting a good combo here, actually. Kind of accidentally, really. I haven't really talked about the combo system, but that's because there's not much to it. You just get combos by being cool and punching. Not that much more to it than that. Alright, well the game has now allowed us to move on. Very generous. Very generous indeed. I don't think I mentioned this, but I'll quickly mention it again. You can just web sip up buildings. So you can get you can climb buildings so quickly if you do it right. Hi, you're being evicted. This way. This way. This is bad. Really bad. This was the turn I was talking about! Now we have to beat up civilians, like these crazy deranged Spider-Man abilities civilians. Uh, if you know anything about Spider-Man, you can probably guess what the deal is with these. But, it seems a bit odd that Spider-Man's like, yeah, I'm gonna punch them all! <laughs> There's these people going a bit nuts, so Spider-Man's first uh, thought, it seems, is to kick them all. Although I'm sure he knows what's going on as well, because he is Spider-Man. He's had to deal with this before. But no, we just got to take out 23 of them, which isn't too bad. They can get, they can do some damage on you, or some decent damage. As you can see, I'm really low on health, which I don't know how that's actually happened, but I'm not a fan of it. Not a fan at all. But they can also do like crazy wrestling moves on you if you let them. Oh, this isn't going well at all. Right, let's run away for a second. Regroup. Right. Yep, they can do that. Okay, no, X. Oh, X. I'm pressing X at the right moment, I swear. I guess sometimes I just can't web strike these guys, but I need to get some health, so... I'm in a bit of a tricky situation. Oh, Spider-Man, up you go. I'm in a bit of a tricky situation where I need to defeat... Oh! Oh, cool. Oh, no, there we go. Now I'm not in a tricky situation. Because <laughs> I needed to defeat enemies to get health, because I was low on health, but apparently I defeated enough. Um, our special meter hasn't built up enough. I was hoping to show off the summoning superheroes. See, look, they do, like, wrestling moves on you. It's really weird. It's really weird. 
Because they're just a kind of manic animal. Ah, stop it. Oh no, I was killing her. Okay, good. They're weird, like, animalistic people who are just trying to eat you or something. I don't know. They're just, <laughs> they're just going nuts. They are going completely crazy. Well, can I do it? Let me do it. No? Okay, yeah, I was going to summon someone, because as you can see, my special meter is, like, full, but I guess it's just not letting me doing it. <laughs> not letting me doing it? Not. It's not going to let me do it. Okay, that's you. Oh, to see, I don't, what's going on? X. That should be working. I don't know why I'm not doing that right. Let's try a B one. B. There we go. Well, that worked. A little too well, really. But, oh well. We're done here. Spider-Man, stand down! Freeze! Back away from those people now, mister! No! You don't understand! They attack me! They're not normal! They might... I get attacked, and then I get shot at. How's that fair? Alright, let's check out some upgrades. We haven't upgraded in a while. Wow, we got like 19,000 experience. Uh, we seem to be fighting on the wall a lot, so I think this will be a good one to get. Uh, what's that? Uh, that doesn't... No, they don't sound useful. No, no, I still want to... I keep doing that. You have to press B to go back. Actually, no, B... Oh, whatever. Um, right, more upgrades. Uh, that's probably good. It doesn't cost that much. Uh, let's upgrade the web strike. This is a good one to do. I'll just let the... You know, animation show you. Yeah! <laughs> that does some damage. And then you can do this. One of the the one two. Just just <laughs> he just destroys that person. It's all bad. Uh web shot already upgraded. Ward attack. I guess air attack? Yeah, air attack will be good. Seems to be using that a lot. There we go, increases the damage and range of the eagle kick. That's a bloody good one to do. Uh ground attack, what else can we do? No. Uh, okay, this. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Why not? Seems. Hmm. Uh, oh no. See, I don't want to do any combos where I have to hold a button because I'm just never gonna think to do it. And you know, I guess that is my fault, but that's not any good. You know, I might as well put some points into the black suit. I think uh, I will just start using it a bit more. And I've got enough. Oh no, now I don't have enough experience points to do it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, it was never my plan to use the black suit anyway, so whatever. Okay, so I think before I get to this next one, I'm gonna collect a few more of these. Because I do need a health upgrade. The game does start to get slightly harder from here on out, especially now we're fighting those guys. Who don't do like a massive amount of damage, but enough where it's you need a health upgrade. I don't know. I wonder if people play this game and uh, actually try not to get the collectibles. You know how like with uh, Zelda, you have the free heart run. I wonder if there's like a no collectible run in these games. I really doubt it. These the Spider-Man games aren't that massive, weirdly enough. Spider-Man's like a big kind of. He's a big icon, and Marvel is like doing really well, but the games still don't do too well. I mean, I think they're good. I mean, I I play them, I like them, but they just don't do that well. And they put one out every year, so I don't know what the problem is. I don't think they're that bad. Uh, right. I think it's safe to do this. So I'll just grab the collectibles after talking to Moon Knight. You have much to answer for. I do. Those people on the roof. Th there was a reason for that. There can be no reason for throwing innocent. It wasn't Moon God Vengeance, but it was something that needed to happen. I didn't let anyone get hurt. You took a great risk. The authorities... Usually want to shoot me anyway, if we want to be honest. I warn you only once. Do not behave this way again. Look, I have to find out if there are others like those people on the roof. I have a bad feeling about this. Then I will investigate this situation. I too must know the truth. 
Stop looking at me like that. With those spooky, googly eyes. You worry me, Spider-Man. The guy who talks to Moon Gods is worried about me? Seriously? The black suit. Is under control just fine. I see. Oh, come on, don't treat me like I'm an addict, saying I can quit any time. I'd love to get this thing off of me, I just haven't figured out how yet. Indeed. I don't like having an alien live on my skin, if that's what you're thinking. It creeps me out just as much as anybody. So why not focus your energies on its removal? And ignore everything going on in the city? People need help, Moon Knight. You are not the only one who can help. I am the only one who understands what's happening. I am the only one who knows, really knows, what we're fighting. Are you sure you know what you are fighting against? This could be really serious. More than Kingpin's big night of crime. As you say. Hmm, so Moon Knight isn't happy with us, but... I want him to be happy with us. I don't, I don't like annoying Moon Knight. But I can see where he's coming from. Spider-Man did throw someone off the roof. Although technically that wasn't a person. But still, it did look really bad. He didn't do himself any favours. Right, one more. Nice, so five. Um, so now we have to go around and defeat deranged civilians. And uh, it's a bit more of a grinding mission. But I don't mind this one. Uh, with the other ones, they, they were just pointless training ones. But this is kind of showing... Like, doing these missions, it's kind of showing how... Oh, no, why isn't it working? Right. X. Why doesn't that... I'm trying again. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I guess I was just doing it too late, but... Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, I like this kind of mission and having to do this, because it does show that the city is kind of... having a bad time. Like, it's not just, oh no, the city is under attack, everything's going wrong, oh no. It's actually, yeah, things are going wrong. If you go around the city, you will find deranged civilians just attacking people, and you got to kind of stop that. So this one, it kind of makes sense, and the ones afterwards as well. Where are they? There they are. But as you can see on the screen, it's telling you it's symbiotes. Still, on symbiotes? I don't know, symbiotes. I feel like I'm just adding in an extra <laughs> syllable in there. It's making me sound like a dumb idiot. But yeah, so these aren't people, these are to do with venom and aliens and all that. So that's why Spider-Man was okay with just throwing them off the roof. Although, he could have been more subtle about it. So something I haven't mentioned yet with this game, while we're just, you know, fighting these guys, is that based on your decisions, there's quite a few things that change. And one of the things that change in this game is who you take your missions from. If you choose to be evil, and if you chose to side with a black cat when you fought her, if you choose the evil option there, you wouldn't be taking your missions from Black Cat, or from Moon Knight, you'd be taking it from her. So because I chose to go against her, she doesn't really like me right now, so instead of having my missions from Black Cat, I now have to talk to Moon Knight. It's why Moon Knight kind of comes out of nowhere a little bit, because... They had, you know, they wanted to make it so you take your mission from the evil person or the good person. But of course, Moon Knight didn't really have anything to do with the story. Wait, where are these people? Oh, great. All the way up there. Yeah, he just kind of showed up and was like, hey, I'm trying to save the day too. But if you didn't pick him, if you pick Black Cat to, you know, be a path instead. What am I doing? I'm being so stupid. It's LB, not <laughs> RT. Um... Yeah, so if you picked Black Cat, you wouldn't even really know about the Moon Knight. He wouldn't be a part of the story at all. Uh, you like? I don't think you even see him at all. He gets added to your allies list, and then you just kind of talk to Black Cat instead. But now that I've picked the good side, we just don't really see Black Cat anymore. Right, where did that... There they are. See, I pressed X really early there. I think if you just tap it, it works just as well as, you know, it works just as well. I'm going to tap it. Tap, 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 tap. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay. Fair enough, there is some skill and timing involved. Kind of surprising, actually. I wouldn't think there would be. Uh, right. Let's go! Dive, Spider-Man, dive! <laughs> Don't just land on your feet. I know you can do that, but I can't recommend it. Right, X. Oh no, I messed up. See, I'm trying to do my cool combo I just unlocked, where you can do multiple web strikes. It's not going well. Let's try it. Boom. X. X. No, it's not working on these guys. I didn't just buy it, right? It's not that hard to pull off. It's just... 
I don't know, it's not working for some reason. Oh, that worked though. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. That was pretty cool. Should have brought that a long time ago, really. Because with the upgrades, it's quite easy to kind of forget about them. And they usually ask you after missions, but sometimes they just don't. Like, if you do a mission to do with your allies, or changes your alignment, or uh, introduces someone to you that you haven't seen before, instead of upgrades, it just says allies. So you can kind of forget to buy the upgrades. But like I said, you can also do the upgrades, so you don't have to actually do them yourself, you can just ignore it. Like I also said, it's better to. Alright, well... This is probably going to be the last time we talk to Moon Knight, if I remember correctly, so let's go say goodbye. Oh, and also, yeah, Kingpin, yeah, we're kind of done with him. <laughs> like like Spider-Man said, there's more going on now than Kingpin, so Spider-Man no longer really cares. we got to get back to the main story, which is sad, because we never even saw Kingpin. We saw the Vulture, so whatever. I'm glad you have returned, Spider-Man. I received reports of some strange incidents in Hell's Kitchen. Go there at once. Thanks for the tip. So now we have to go Creepy to Hell's Kitchen. My brain refused to leave. My fight with Venom had made me all symbiote again. But what if there was more to it? What if it was somehow spreading? Maybe they were everywhere. Maybe I was nuts. Either way, I had to be sure. Alright, so I'm going to end off the part here, so we will go to Hell's Kitchen in the next part, but it's the next part of the story when we go there. Which is why it's a random thing, where it's like, hey, just go to Hell's Kitchen, just because. Really, that's about it. But anyway, next time in this place, Final World of Shadows, we're going to go to Hell's Kitchen, so I've been on 23 don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.